What's our topic for today? I think we're going to go with quantum computing. Oh, God. Yes. How does quantum computing relate to AI? Why, why mention them in the same sentence? Why, why is one relevant to the other? Now we're, I don't know, four minutes in. I have told you everything I know about quantum computing. That was it. <laughs> I, if I remember correctly, um, superposition exists in plants, right? I think photosynthesis. Can you tell us like what the benefit to that is for plants? In photosynthesis, plants use superposition to transfer energy efficiently. Light excited electrons exist in a superposition of states, allowing them to explore multiple pathways simultaneously to find the most efficient route for energy transfer. So essentially that's the same thing that's happening with data and quantum computing, is that correct? Just like in photosynthesis, where electrons explore multiple paths at once, in quantum computing, qubits can explore many possibilities simultaneously. Appreciate your patience with uh, us who are operating at mere hertz frequencies. Yes. Not, I mean, that's generous. Well, yes. <laughs> sub, sub hertz. Yeah, there's not very many things I can do once <laughs> Fractions per second. of hertz. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Your one or a zero isn't necessarily going to get you what you want, but if you can right. add an instruction set for another one with input from that answer, you can all of a sudden refine everything in this path to where a one or a zero is a complex answer because you ran it through multiple cycles. Is that a gate, actually, Artie? The process you described is similar to how quantum algorithms work. By running qubits through a series of quantum gates, you can refine and manipulate their states to perform complex calculations. Each layer of gates can transform the qubits based on previous results, allowing for increasingly sophisticated operations. Give us a glimpse into how uh, a quantum computer with technology uh, five years newer than your training data. So look into the future a little bit. How does that interact with generative AI? Quantum computers could handle the massive computations required for training large AI models much faster than classical computers. This would allow for more complex models and quicker iteration. Quantum algorithms could optimize neural network training, finding the best parameters more efficiently than classical methods. Quantum computing could provide insights into the probabilistic nature of AI, helping to develop more transparent and interpretable models. The fusion of quantum computing and generative AI could revolutionize technology, leading to unprecedented advancements in computing and AI capabilities.